What is going on everybody? It's nothing but skills. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you four items you guys need to be farming for. And the reason why is these four items in title update nine are getting a really good buff. And I think a lot of people will be using them going forward. And the crazy part about it is one of these items is already really powerful. And it's going to be the first item we actually talk about. So let's get into the four items and talk about which ones you need to get. So the first item is going to be the Imperial Dynasty Holster. Yes, this exotic holster is probably one of the holsters you see me using a lot. Now, this holster comes with while in combat, you apply burn to an enemy closest to you within 20 meters. Now, the cooldown on this is 40 seconds, but that is getting a buff. On title update 9, they're going to reduce the cooldown to 35 seconds from 40 seconds. And the developer comment is the buff is better compensate for the lack of brand bonuses that this holster provides. Now, if you guys seen any of my videos with this holster, it's actually really cool. And it's pretty crazy to see this one actually get a buff. Um, I paired my number with Creeping Death. You can see how it spreads that initial burn to everybody within that radius, right? So it's actually a really good holster to have. So to see this actually get a buff on the cooldown is kind of cool. I like using this for PvE. So the cooldown will be dropping down to 35 seconds from 40 seconds. So that's going to be the buff for the Imperial Dynasty holster going forward. So where can you farm this? Well, you can farm this from Stranded Tanker. There's Vimy and Conley. The boss tends to drop this one. This is where a lot of me, my friends, and a lot of users have gotten this one. Also, you can farm Pathway Park. This is also New York City. Another cleaner boss, Kajika. So those two bosses, those two missions are more likely where you guys can f this holster. And I've heard of people getting them. I'm, I'm going to say hearsay. I've heard of people getting this from Control Point. So if you get a level 4 Control Point, you can try to farm those bosses too. So just good luck. Enjoy, I would recommend sticking to the two missions for this holster. The next item you guys want to get is the Sawyer knee pads. Now these are actually going to get a really huge buff and probably the one that I'm most excited for. Now you can see I have a God Roll set that I'm ready for the future, but look at this, Grace Under Fire cannot be staggered by explosions, which that's great, I don't complain about that. But the second one, standing in cover without firing for six to 12 seconds provides damage immunity while aiming for one to two seconds. This one right here is actually a horrible talent to have, right? Because if you're going to be running a defensive blue build and these are the knee pads, the only thing these knee pads are good for are really that grace under fire. That staying in cover um, without firing for 6 to 12 seconds to me just isn't worth it at all. But with the new change, check out this new change that they're doing to them. So your knee pads are reworked. They cannot be staggered by explosion. They kept that one. Great job. The second one, increased total weapon damage by 3%. Every second you are not moving. Now this stacks up to 10 times and the stacks are lost when you're moving. So now if you're in cover, you can stack this up to 30% total weapon damage. Now what they're saying is this exotic provides defensive attributes and no brand bonuses. So now it has a potential for high damage, making appealing to both red and blue builds. And I agree 100% with this. I feel like a lot of people weren't using this one for the fact that, you know, it wasn't worth the talent, right? Like maybe they were using it for the staggered by explosions, but now you can actually put this on a blue build, gain that 30% weapon damage, total weapon damage. It's going to be great. And with them thinking of reworking the Fox Prayer knee pads, with them thinking of actually reworking that and making it not as good as it is right now, I think these are going to be a really good replacement and this is the number one item i would recommend farming for right here so out of all the items i talk about this one right here is probably number one the sawyer knee pads 100 percent. this right here is what i would be going for i'm lucky enough to already have a god roll i have the armor the explosive resistance and the health fully maxed out so i'm good here this is the one of the god roll exotics that i do have so i'm glad to have this one with the buff coming this is going to fit into a lot of my builds going forward and I can't wait to bring those builds once we get this big change in title update 9. So to farm these knee pads, I would recommend farming Jefferson Trade Center. You can also farm Grand Washington Hotel or even you can farm Bank Headquarters. And the reason why is that these missions have hyena bosses and those hyena bosses tend to drop them. But the best way I think still to farm, even if it's not those bosses, is look for where the knee pads are right now. On this map, it shows Tidal Basin. So if you see these knee pads, this is where you guys are going to want to farm this. This targeted farm for these knee pads is going to be the best bet for you guys to get these. Let's dive into our next exotic. 
So the next exotic we're going to be talking about is the Diamondback. So this is the third item I really recommend you guys picking up. And the reason why is because the talents on this are getting a buff. Right now, the Diamondback has I Agonizing Bite. Diamondback randomly marks an enemy. Hitting that enemy consumes the mark, guaranteeing a critical hit damage amplified by 20%. A new random enemy is marked afterwards whenever you reload. So that right there is getting a huge buff and the buff that it's going to get is actually going to make this probably one of the most powerful rifles in the game so the diamondback is getting a rework it now grants all shots guarantee critical hits for five seconds after hitting a mark so when the diamondback marks an enemy if you hit that mark every shot after will be a critical hit which is crazy because this Rifle builds, you are usually can stack a lot of critical hit chance, critical hit damage on them already. And with having a base damage of 421,000 damage, and this is going to allow you to have a high crit damage build, not have to stack into critical hit chance, and being able to roll into something else. If you want to stack into that headshot damage, you can stack into the headshot damage. If you want to stack into a blue stat or yellow stat, you'll be able to do that with this, with this new talent being reworked. And I think this is a good thing because right now I think that the Diamondback is a little underrated. Not a lot of people use it just because it's not worth it at the moment. But I think going forward in Title Update 9, this change right here is going to be really, really good for the Division 2. So to get your exotic Diamondback, to get this, you have to complete the Kenley College. Well, this is where you get your first one. The initial one, you have to complete three sections and you're guaranteed to get one. That's where I recommend everybody doing it. It was available last week. I think we probably have to wait two weeks to get it again, maybe on one week. I'm not 100% sure the rotation, but I think it's two more weeks. But also, it's known that you can get this from Targeted Loot. So if you look for the rifles, I think it's at DARPA right now. So in DARPA Research Lab on this map right here, it might have already changed by the time this video goes live. This right here is where you get the rifle. So you need to look for the rifle symbol and that has been known to drop the exotic diamondback. So if you haven't got your initial exotic diamondback, do Kenley College because that's a guarantee way to get it. And then after that, you can farm target loot as much as you want and you can get it. And then you can have this one ready to go for when they do that really good update to the exotic diamondback. Let's get into our next exotic. So the next exotic is another holster. Now this one right here is the Dodge City Gunslinger holster, which is actually pretty good right now, and it's gonna get a buff. So right now it has a talent called Quick Draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff of 0.5 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. So if you can have 100 stacks, you times that by 10%, you're blasting dudes away. The problem is the slow stack of 0.5 seconds to get it up to 100 stacks. Now, they realize that. They realize that and they are buffing that. That's the big change coming. So now this holster will reduce the charge up to 30 seconds from 50 seconds. So you're getting 20 seconds off. So now, instead of it taking 50 seconds for you to get the full 100% stack, it's only going to take 30 seconds, making it a little bit more viable to use this one. The developer comment on this one is this buff is the better compensate for the lack of brand bonus. Now with it already having a really strong talent and for them to reduce the time, I think that's a really good move. I don't see a lot of people using this enough and with them cutting it down to 30 seconds, this might actually be really viable to put on to certain builds. Now remember, when you get to world tier five, you can come over here to the crafting vendor and she's going to have the blueprint. Yes, she'll have the blueprint for you guys. You just need to select it and then follow the steps. I do have a full step-by-step -step guide on how to get this holster. Get this holster on this channel. So if you wanna go into my exotic playlist, there will be a guide to how to get this a step-by-step. -step. It doesn't take long at all. And when you do that, well now you can go to targeted farming and look for the holsters. Like right now we see the holsters are up here in the top right. And when it's in a section like this, these are the best place to farm these are these activities, these control points, and that is where you're gonna have a chance of dropping this. I would recommend even open up all the boxes you can. So you know those little lot boxes, I've been getting exotics from there. I'm talking about like a chatter box. I've been getting different exotics from those lock boxes. So open up every box you can, farm those activities, and then of course farm those control points. But this is gonna wrap up the video here. These are the four items I really recommend you guys getting 
farming for now prior to title update 9 because I feel a lot of builds are going to be built around it. Now there is another small change to another exotic called the Merciless. It's going from 900 total damage to 1200 total damage. So a small little change to that one too. Um, it's still I'm still trying to figure out if that one's actually a viable weapon to use. But overall, these are the exotics, the four items I would recommend picking up before title update 9 hits. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. Don't forget, if you're new, first time watching the video, hit the subscribe and turn notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, nothing but skills out. <laughs>